Who is your biggest influence, you think, as far as, as a singer, maybe like a singer mentor, somebody that taught you stuff and that you worked with or, or that you, you got to go see or you got to listen to or hang out with? You know, I, um, of course, I started playing guitar as like 14, 15 years old and really gravitated, you know, at that time, you know, into uh, more pop stuff like James Taylor and Jim Croce and stuff like that. And then, uh, and then a little bit later started getting into, you know, the, the true uh, traditional country stuff, you know, Marty Robbins, Johnny Horton and guys like that. But um, probably my most um, modern influence is Randy Owen from Alabama. I, you know, the first time I heard uh, Old Flame was on a jukebox at a little beer joint in Truman, Arkansas. Uh, I was too young to be in there drinking, <laughs> <laughs> and so was everybody else around me. But uh, uh, I heard that thing come on, man, those three-part harmonies hit, and I just went, oh, man, that's something special. Have you ever got to work with him? I did. You know, here's a funny thing. I was living in Dallas in 1991, and Alabama used to do this thing called the June Jam Talent Search. And uh, and I was blessed, lucky enough to win the Dallas Regional. They were coming to, to, to Dallas to play. I'd already bought tickets to the show. And when I won the Regional, I got the open for them. So I bought tickets to my own concert. <laughs> <laughs> so who else do you think that you were influenced, especially after you got to Nashville and you got to be around the studios and <clears> the players and you started doing demos? And who did you enjoy working with the most? You know, I, man, I've been so blessed to get to work with all these great writers. I I remember in particular getting to do stuff with Harlan Howard. Really? I mean, yeah, and that was, I mean, when I, when I got to you know do studio work for him, it was it's like you know, hey, man, I've 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 achieved a certain you know <laughs> milestone in my career getting to work with Harlan Howard. And I I remember the first uh, time the session I ever did with him, I walked in and you know, and there's Buddy Emmons on steel and Roy Husky Jr. on bass and. And I'm like, dang, Harlan, I was, I was already, you know, uh, nervous enough just working for you, and now you put me in the studio with these guys. So, yeah, that's one of the things about about living here in Nashville and working, is man, you just get to be influenced and get to the opportunity, especially somebody in your shoes, you get to to see these amazing players every day. Oh yeah, and it's got to feel great to be in the studio with so many amazing players. I know I get that feeling when I'm there, right. when I'm working. That it's just the the this is the the best of the best as far as music goes. Yeah.